You called the press here today, Mr Anderson, to explain the situation about the breast cancer treatment in the Isle of Man. Why have you felt the need to involve the media to explain what you're doing? Well, there seems to be a bit of misunderstanding, really, in the advert we're going to put out for a breast uh, surgeon, um, because the breast surgeon will also have a responsibility for general surgery as well. So this person will have a one in four responsibility. At the moment, we have three general breast surgeons, sorry, three general surgeons who are on call. Uh, one in three, if you like, 365 days a year. This is quite unacceptable these days. We're moving to a one in four situation. So therefore, this person needs to have the general surgery uh, qualification as well. Okay, well, I mean, it has been raising questions in Keys. Yeah. It's very emotive. Um, I, think, I, think, I think one of the problems is that when the advert is, goes out, the way it goes out, it says general surgeon with a speciality in, in breast surgery. Uh, when people are interpreting that as if it's the breast surgery is an add-on, that's not the case at all. The main job this person will have will be in breast surgery and will have a responsibility for general surgery one and four, on a one and four call. You can see where the concern is. People are going to think, oh, we're going to be less well treated because this new person will mm. be doing other jobs, will be sidelined. Exactly. In fact, we see this service as enhancing the service we've already got. So I'd like to reassure people that, we're not, that it was claimed that this was some sort of cost-cutting. It's, it's far from cost-cutting. We're actually improving the service that we've got already. And this person will have the expertise in, in all sorts of breast surgery. But we have to recognise that it, it, in the more complicated situations, people will always be referred to a tertiary centre in Liverpool, the Linda McCarthy unit. Because your, your figures show a, a massive sort of increase every year on the amount of breast cancers that are reported. In mm -hmm. other words, you, you, know, you need to have more people maybe at the end of the day? Well, I think it's fair to say that because we've gone to um, you know, this breast scanning service, um, we always expect that the numbers to arrive, uh, uh, arise substantially in the next couple of years because uh, it's being picked up that more uh, earlier in, in detecting these various um, problems. So we always anticipated the numbers would go up. They'll probably peak and then pl plateau in a couple of years' time. But it's good news because it means that people's problems are being identified earlier and the outcomes, therefore, are obviously a lot better as well. Do you think you didn't communicate this information well enough in the first place? Well, this, you could say that, but I, I, I think um, there's a little bit of mischief making gone on as well. Uh -huh. uh, well, obviously, uh, in interpreting what the department was doing... Who's making this mischief? Uh, as, you, as you well know, I've had questions in the House of Keys, and um, I think those have been unfortunate in the way they've come out, because there's been no change to the department's business policy for um, advertising for this person. It's just in the understanding of that advert, I think. And there's another question coming up next week. So do you think this is taking the wind out of that person's sails? Uh, no, I think it was important that we clarified to put people's um, p uh, mind at peace, really, that we weren't actually cutting down the service. We actually see this as an enhancement to the service for the ladies of the Isle of Man going forward. Barley, do you think you could handle the situation better? I think we can always handle situations better, Paul. We learn from our mistakes.